Hello everyone, this is Rick Pasek, the Flyfish Fanatic, and welcome to my dining bench. Um, this is a uh, pheasant tail. <laughs> I'm tying quite a few flies today and doing a lot of videos today, so I'm kind of like, woo! But yeah, this will be a pretty classic pheasant tail nymph, uh, unweighted. Um, so this one you can use uh, um, in a uh, in the lakes or in the rivers. Uh, rivers, I'd weight it, but uh, yeah, so stop playing around let's go at her so um, I'll start off with uh, some Semperfly uh, classic wax in the dark mocha brown and I'll just put my thread on right down to the curve don't go past the curve break off my thread build up just a bit of a bump here for the tail fibers to sit on going to take some of these tail, uh, pheasant tail fibers, four or five, something like that. You don't need a ton of them, but you definitely want to have enough, right? You don't want to make it too sparse. I don't want about as long as the body is going to be, so about there. I'll just go back, come back forward, loose wraps, and stop the body about there. that off take my wire this will be Semperfly light gold 0.2 mil tie that in on my side just gonna go back just a bit make sure those pushed right up against that bulge that I made then I'm gonna take Three or four or five pheasant tail fibers again. Just gonna nip off the very, very tips of them, just because they can be a little on the brittle side. And again, roughly where I'm gonna stop, tie that in. Forward, Take my pheasant tail, and then touching wraps don't overlap. Touching wraps, just come up, form your body portion. Counter wrap your wire, that'll help hold that together. Helicopter. Okay, come on, there you go. Okay, so now I'm just going to come back over top of that just a bit. And then I am going to put in a, where did, I, where did it end up? A piece of lateral scale for the uh, flashback. Because this, uh, this is going to be more like a flashback. No, not more like. It's going to be a flashback pheasant tail. So just make sure that's tied right on top. Okay, and then I'm going to take five or six. fibers from the pheasant tail here and then I'm these are going to end up sticking past so I I want to make sure that they're going to be long enough All right so about like that maybe a little tiny bit more just leave them there come all the way back Take, again, depending on the quality of your material, two to three peacock hurl fibers. And then I'm going to come back forward again. Just do three or four turns here. That's it. Carefully nip those off. Then I'm just going to lift up these little legs. Go back 
over top. Now I want to separate these. I want about equal amounts on either side. And then take your pheasant tail fibers, bring that up and over, a couple of wraps, see how that's looking. You might have to give it a bit of a twist or whatever, so they're in where you like them. And then I'll take my flashback and come up and over as well. Just hold that down with my finger. Lift everything, come in front, back over top. And then I'm going to cut off my flash, cut off my pheasant tail. Just reposition this just ever so little. I like repositioning it so it's up a little. And I'm just going to build the slightest little bit of a head, just covering up all that stuff. Two, three turn whip finish. I'll obviously, whoa, just pulled that off too hard. Obviously, I'll pull that, uh, I'll, uh, I will uh, head cement that in a bit. But right now, I'm just going to cut it off. And there you go. Your classic little pheasant tail. It's uh, just a little, whoops, I'll just try to see if I can get that focus there you go so you can see that flash on the back the legs the legs are tiny bit too long I would have liked to have stopped them at the right at the where the body stops so I would like to have let's get that focus back in here for you guys I'd like to have stopped right here so I mean we're talking sixteenth of an inch too long but that's that's good it'll be fine so yeah so that's just your classic simple little flashback uh, pheasant tail Simple little fly to tie, excellent little fly to fish. Um, and if you want to put a little gold bead head and do the same thing. So, alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. And uh, if you subscribe, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Tie lines.